When designing certain game mechanics, you'll need to restrict values to be within a certain range. For example, in a carpet shooter, you don't want your spaceship to go off of the boundaries of the screen. We're going to look at that using mathf mathfunctions.clamp. In this example, I've got a cube in my scene that's currently at zero, and I want to restrict it not to go below minus 10 or exceed plus 10. So what I'm going to do is create a new JavaScript, which I'm going to name mover. And in that JavaScript, I'm going to start off by putting in a basic translate function. So I'm going to create a variable called xmove, and that's going to be of type floating point. Into that, I'm going to pass input.getAxis horizontal so that I can use left and right arrow keys or A and D on the keyboard uh, by default in order to uh, control my cube. And I'm going to multiply that by time dot delta time so that I can then also multiply it by a number to speed things up. So the time dot delta time uh, is slowing it down um, to sync with time and then I'm multiplying it to make it faster. And then I'm going to do the actual translation. So transform dot translate capital T for translate. And I'm going to pass in vector three with X move instead of the value for X. So that's my basic movement. So if you save that, switch back to Unity and drag it onto the cube and then press play, you'll be able to move the cube left or right. But there's nothing stopping it going as far as it wants to go. So quite simply into that script, all we need to do is to address the value that we want to restrict. So the value we want to restrict here is transform.position.x. And we'll pass that into math function. So math capital M F dot clamp capital C. And into the um, values here, we're going to put the value we want to restrict and then the minimum and maximum value in that order. So first of all, we want to restrict um, itself. So we'll say transform.position.x again. And the minimum value we want is minus 10 and the maximum value we want is plus 10. So we pass in those values. Hit save, return to Unity and press play. And hopefully now you'll see that your cube is stopped from going beyond those values. And that's a basic use of clamping values in Unity.